creating an interactive model for simulation-based learning environments. By Rodney Fisher The purposes of this paper are to explore some of the important characteristics of the key elements of simulation and debriefing learning and expand our understanding of the critical interactions between these elements by introducing an active engagement model to be used as a framework for creating a simulation learning environment SLE, that fosters learner active engagement. A major learning methodology in healthcare education that is quickly gaining traction is simulation. The special qualities of simulation learning assist students strengthen their clinical reasoning abilities and, more significantly, provide a bridge between the classroom and real patient care. Learner active engagement is a critical requirement for effective learning during simulation and debriefing, which tasks educators to design simulation learning environments that foster learner active engagement. To foster learner active engagement, the educator and the learner must develop a dyadic relationship of trust, openness, sharing, and safety. The formation of this dyadic relationship implies that the learner has engaged in the learning environment. Educators should also understand the difference between a challenging environment and one that is perceived as threatening. A challenging environment is one where the learner has multiple opportunities to make critical decisions. The simulation literature lacks significant discussion of how the elements of the simulation learning environment can be used to create a learning environment that encourages active engagement in the learning process. From the information gathered through a literature search in Sinhal, PubMed, and Psychology and Behavioral Sciences databases, this article describes the critical elements of effective simulation learning. The educator-learner DAID is the functional entity of the paradigm, and it is made up of three components, the learner, the educator, and the environment. These components must work together effectively. After the teacher-student pair is established, every component of the model works together to create a productive virtual learning environment. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for watch more scientific research videos.